That was a long ride in. Hello all of you, welcome to the home of Armour. I'm Captain Rachel from Combat Team Training Centre and today, I'll be bringing you into camp for an exclusive sneak peek into what we do. Come on and follow me in. Let me introduce you to the first female Chief Warrant Officer in the SAF, Ma'am Jennifer. Hello, I'm Chief Warrant Officer Jennifer Tan. I'm currently the Commanding Officer of Armour Combat Training Centre. I have been in the SAF since 1984 and I'm currently in my 36 years of service. Our Armour logo consists of a fist and a pair of cross bonnets. The fist represents the crushing force and the hard protection of Armour. The cross bayonet symbolises the role that armoured infantry plays within the formation. The red background symbolises the brotherhood and spirit of the armoured formation. Ma'am, can you share with us on why our beret is black? Black was selected as it least likely to show oil stain, which the tank crewmen in the past and the current could appreciate. The history of Blackberry was way back 1917, where the French wore it during World War I. It was then chosen by the German and British armour forces. Today, the Blackberry is a unifying headdress given to all soldiers in the armour formation. I believe most of you didn't know that Singapore has its own knights in shining armour. In the olden days, the best knights were equipped with lances and formed the special guard to protect the king. Though abolished, the lance is retained for ceremonial purposes. The armour formation has inherited this tradition and has mounted the lance guard for all state occasions for the president since the first National Day Parade. And now, it's trivia time. If you have been paying attention, you would definitely know the answer to this. Stand a chance to win this? by heading over to our Instagram stories to participate. Search for our account, at our Singapore Army, follow us, click on the profile photo, and answer the question in the comment box in the story. Winners will be selected at the end of the video. The questions are over here. This is our first tank, the MX-13, which was proudly rolled out to Singaporean in our first National Day Parade mobile column in 1969. Jeffrey Jason Jordan. Yes, mum. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, yes ma'am. Can you see that they are wearing different uniform? Yes, yes, we, we are, are tankies and we wear coveralls. This, this is what we use. As a tanky, we provide mobile firepower during operation. For our army to punch through enemy defence, seizing ground to secure a swift and decisive victory. This is our main battle tank, the Leopard 2SG. Let me show you what it can do. After training, it's time to clean the barrel. One, two, three, pull. 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 And this is how we clean the bayonet cannon.
This is the Bionics Infantry Fighting Vehicle, Singapore's first locally designed and manufactured vehicle. The armor formation has been using the Bionics IFV since 1997. We are Armor Infantry, the expert of mounted and dismounted warfare. The Armor Infantry acts as a force multiplier by providing flexibility of outflanking maneuver. Let's go! This is the Hunter AFV, the SCF first fully digitalized armored fighting vehicle. The Hunter armor fighting vehicle is the SCF foray into smarter network centric fighting, capable of integrating vehicle system to ensure that the SAF remains at a decisive age. The Hunter AFV was commissioned last year during the Armor 50 celebration by Defense Minister Dr. Eun Eng Heng. Let's take a look at how it maneuvers. inside the Bronco, which is a support vehicle that can be configured to meet a range of payload requirements. And this is the Scout variant. Launched in 2001, the Bronco's outstanding performance in harsh terrains and climatic conditions keeps it relevant as it remains as today's clear leader in articulated track carriers. Before we do any live firing, we train with simulation systems. Here we are at the Armour Simulation Center. Let's go take a look at how our soldiers train in the Armour Gunnery and Manoeuvre Simulator, or commonly called the AGMS. This realistic scenario-based training progressively hones the driving and gunnery skills of our soldiers. Hi, Officer Cadet Jin Yang. How was your training today? Hi ma'am, after going through this simulator training, I'm more confident in the upcoming live firing that we are going to have. As this is an exact replica of what we have on our Bunnings platform. I now better understand the system and what we are going to do out in the field. In addition to that, our instructors are able to include instructions for us to practice and react on the spot. The simulation allows commanders to better their command and control abilities, assess situations and be able to react faster on the ground. The instructor operating system is designed to allow the instructors to plan, conduct and assess the trainees accordingly and we can closely look into their gunnery competencies as well. Now that we are done with the simulation, let's head to our backyard training area where we do our live firing. We have enjoyed the peek into armor. Do check out our formation booth within the virtual exhibition to find out more about our formation.